Let's talk about skin A, B. Let's talk about Sarah B. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that you'll see. Let's talk about skin. Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video for you today on my skincare routine. So when it comes to skincare, I am a no fuss kind of girl. I want something that's easy, something that's effective, and something that's affordable. And I've definitely found that in the CeraVe products. These are found at your local drugstore, at Target, at Walmart, pretty much wherever you're going to shop. You don't have to run out to a specialized department store. You don't have to order it online, although you can order this on Amazon and it is a little bit cheaper. But these products have been so great for my skin. I still get an occasional breakout on my skin around that time of the month, but other than that, nothing at all. Before using this stuff, I would get breakouts randomly throughout the month. I would try different products that were made for acne, something that was made for redness, something that reduced inflammation. Nothing compares to what this has done for my skin and it is always in my dermatologist's office. So let's get right into the different products because I do have quite a few here. So I wanted to first talk about the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. So what this does is it exfoliates and cleanses while softening and smoothing the skin with ceramides that restore the skin barrier. So you're gonna ask yourself, what the heck is a ceramide? So a ceramide is naturally found in the skin with cholesterol and fatty acids. So ceramides protect against moisture loss, keeping the skin feeling youthful, firm, and supple. So they pair that in this product along with salicylic acid. So what is salicylic acid, you ask? It helps correct abnormal shredding of the cells by unclogging pores. So you have your skin here, right? And then you have your pimple on top of the skin. What salicylic acid does is it kind of helps to break down this skin barrier to unclog the pore and get that pimple out of there. What salicylic acid doesn't do is it doesn't get rid of oil production and it doesn't get rid of bacteria. So I know a lot of people might think, oh, if I'm using salicylic acid, I'm gonna get rid of my acne and it's gonna go away. That's not totally true, but what it does is it works really, really well with other acne products that might target those areas. So what I really like about this product is it exfoliates, but it doesn't have any of those harsh beads. I hope you can see. It's just a clear formula that exfoliates the skin. And what it does is it preps your skin for essential hydration by sloughing off the dead skin cells with the salicylic acid and it hydrates and restores. So I really like to use this product before I go to bed at night when my skin is repairing itself. The other moisturizer I use, which is usually in the morning, is the hydrating cleanser. So what this claims on the front is it provides patented controlled release of ingredients to help repair and restore your skin's natural protective barrier. Again, this has ceramides in it, which is great, and this one also has hyaluronic acid. So what's hyaluronic acid now? What it is, is it's a natural element of the skin throughout your entire body, and it basically just helps retain moisture. Hyaluronic acid is gentle, it's lightweight, and it provides antioxidant defense against natural environments like the sun and the wind. So what this does is it removes dirt, oil, and makeup. So it's really nice if the salicylic acid didn't remove all your makeup at night. This will go in and remove anything additional and it's super hydrating so it feels so good after sleeping to put some kind of cleanser on your face that isn't going to dry you out but it's going to make you feel moisturized. This stuff really does that. I will say that this one does not foam up whereas this one does foam up a little bit so I don't know how you feel about that. There is a foaming version of this if you're super into that. So this again uses ceramides and hyaluronic acid to moisturize, soften, and repair the skin barrier. So that's basically what this is composed of and again I like to use this one in the morning because it just helps me to feel like I'm extra moisturized. So the next thing I want to talk about is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is the only moisturizer on my face I'll use. This is what it comes in. It's 16 ounces. It's super, super thick. So basically it's just a thick cream you can see and it is super moisturizing. It's not heavy at all. It's extremely lightweight and I put this on before makeup. If I don't use this in the morning, if I'm at a friend's house, most of my friends have kind of gotten them hooked on CeraVe, and they have the other facial moisturizer that's a little thinner, I just don't feel like my skin's getting the hydration it needs. So what this one does is it claims to have MVE technology. It moisturizes, restores, and maintains a protective skin barrier, again, with our good friend ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which we've already talked about. So what is this MVE technology also found in the hydrating cleanser? It's 
multivesicular emulsion technology that provides multiple layers of nourishing and moisturizing ingredients to the skin slowly over time. So the skin is made up of three lipids. It's made up of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, right? So each of these lipids attract and repel water naturally in the skin. Together, they bring moisture in and keep moisture out of the skin. So what the MVE technology claims to do is it claims to release these ingredients over time, long after you apply it, up to 24 hours. And I can say, like, I applied my moisturizer earlier in the morning and my skin still feels super moisturized. I've gone outside, it's been at least 12 hours since I applied it and I still feel like my skin has moisture in it. So I absolutely agree with that. And it basically helps to maintain the natural function of the skin, just like those three lipids do. Again, huge fan of this. I couldn't imagine not using it at this point. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the CeraVe sunscreen. This is SPF 30, it's for the face. It has invisible zinc, which we'll get into in a second. And it's basically a lightweight, oil-free SPF that I am obsessed with. It's water resistant for up to 40 minutes as well, which is super nice. So what this does is it uses invisible zinc, which basically uses naturally sourced microfine zinc oxide to deliver a dry, clear finish to the skin that absorbs really well and really fast. This stuff really does. You'll rub in and it's basically gone after a minute. You don't, you have no greasy feeling that SPF gives. And the reason for that is because it's finely milled zinc. If they didn't finely mill the zinc oxide, it would definitely have that greasy, wet feeling left on your skin. Basically, it's lightweight, it's oil free, it's super gentle, that provides broad spectrum protection from the sun against damaging UVA and UVB rays. So this stuff is really awesome. We also have our friend ceramides in this and we have niacinamides. What niacinamides do is they support the natural production of ceramides and fatty acids for repairing the skin barrier. And it also may reduce redness. So if you're burnt and you put this on over time, it might help reduce redness, which is always a good thing. And who wouldn't want something that's gonna provide moisture to your skin in addition to protection from the sun? Once again, this stuff is an A+. I also wanted to mention that the niacinamides are a form of B3 vitamin. So basically that helps provide fuel, which strengthens cell bonds and tightens the skin. So again, providing extra good things to our skin in addition to providing protection from the sun. So that's pretty much it when it comes to my CeraVe products. So I wanted to get a little bit into my spot treatments and my face masks. So I wanted to start out by saying I'm a little skeptical when it comes to these products. I only use two and it's the Mario Badescu drying cream and the drying lotion. Sometimes I feel when I put these on they work and then sometimes I feel like it doesn't work at all and I never want to use them again and it's just my skin naturally repairing itself over time when it does work. So I don't know, I'm up in the air about this but I will say I still use it, I still buy it, I put it on when I get a breakout. So. I don't know. Let's quickly talk about the drying lotion first. And I'm sure you've all seen this from either YouTube or celebrities or at Ulta, whatever. So what it claims to do is have reliable and fast results to get rid of blackheads. It has salicylic acid in it, which we've already talked about, and collodial sulfurs, which repair the skin. What it does is it basically helps to remove and prevent clogged pores, which makes sense for a spot treatment. The salicylic acid and collodial sulfurs repair the skin and the calamine lotion, which is in the bottom that you basically dip the q-tip into and take out obviously soothes the skin we all know that calamine is kind of used for soothing the skin i feel like i say soothing really weird i don't know it basically claims to be effective to heal the pimple overnight i definitely don't feel like my pimples are always healed overnight but sometimes they are and i just don't know if it's this product or if it's my skin naturally healing itself but like i said i continue to use it would i recommend it I would, I don't know. I basically, if my friend was asking me, I'd tell him exactly what I just told you. Sometimes I feel like it works, sometimes I feel like it doesn't, but then sometimes I put it on overnight and my pimple is gone. So I don't know, use your discretion when it comes to this. So the other thing I like to use is the Mario Badescu drying cream. I do like this one a little bit more because it does provide a little bit of coverage and you can put it on under makeup, which I like. I don't like the smell of this, that's the one off-putting thing. It just smells weird and it definitely lingers. Let's get into this really quick. So what is this drying cream made out of? It's made out of sulfur which helps thin the skin and promote cell overturn and zinc oxide which helps inflammation and dries out and reduces the size of a pimple. 
So obviously you hear that and you think, that's great, that's exactly what I want to happen to my pimple. And this can be worn all day, which is super nice, and like I said, you wanna put it on over a moisturizer, but you wanna put it on before you put your makeup on. You only apply just a tiny bit. You don't wanna cake this on, otherwise your makeup's gonna look funky, and you really honestly don't need a huge amount of this. You just wanna cover up the pimple and blend it out. So what you do is you smooth this on acne erupted areas to prevent spreading and further breakouts. So I like to use this for more of my under the skin pimples. This is more for like my active pimples that have like a white head on it. And this one, I like to kind of bring out the under the skin pimple. Same situation as this. Do I feel like it works sometimes? Again, use your own discretion. Like I said, I continue to buy them. I continue to use them but my feelings are still mixed on them. So the final thing I wanna talk about is my face mask, which I am absolutely in love with. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. The world's most powerful facial. It's deep pore cleansing and it's made of 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. I get this from Whole Foods, it is so big. I've had this for like probably six months and I am only this far down into it and I do this once or twice a week. So like any other clay mask, this gets super, super hard on the skin and basically feels like you are pulling the toxins out of your skin. And it, it it's funny when you put it around your lips, your lips like kind of start to like get all big like this and you look like a monster and it's weird and it's fun and I love it. So what I do is I mix an equal part of this clay mask with apple cider vinegar and it kind of like bubbles up a little bit and then I just apply a little to my face with a makeup brush so I kind of feel like I'm giving myself a little bit of a facial and then I let it dry. I usually leave mine on for about 20 minutes. It says to start with leaving it on for five to 10 minutes and my mask is just never dry at that point. I don't feel like it's get, it's really getting into my skin. So I like to leave it on for about 20 minutes. I will say my skin is red after, but it feels like a baby's bottom after I put this stuff on. What is calcium bentonite made out of? It comes from the ash from a volcano. That's all this is. It draws out toxins from the skin. Also it has minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, silica, all really good things for the skin. I also use it, like I said, with apple cider vinegar, which has so many healing properties in, its, in and of itself. It's cleansing, it's healing, it's detoxifying. It is a great product. I like to take a swig of it once a day as well, which is kind of gross, but it's super good for your inside. So that's basically it when it comes to my skin product. I use the hydrating cleanser in the morning. I use the renewing salicylic acid cleanser at night. I always put on SPF. You should put on SPF every day. If it's sunny, if it's rainy, if there's a tornado, if there's an earthquake, if it's pitch black outside, put on some SPF if you're gonna be outside. And then I use my moisturizing cream day, night, middle of the day, whenever I need to. This is the only moisturizer I use and I forgot to mention, I also use this under my eyes. As you can see, I don't use a product under my eyes. I don't wanna spend $80 on a cream under my eyes and I don't have the time. I just wanna take what I have and I wanna stick it under my eyes and get out the door. And this stuff works so well. My under eye area is so hydrated. It is never dry. Before I started using this whole CeraVe line, I had the driest under eyes. This has made such a difference and it's so nice to not have to put an extra product into my routine or spend the additional money on it. And of course, you don't wanna forget your lips. Every single morning, all throughout the day, every single night, I'm always using Aquaphor. This has no cap because I lost it. There's also a lip version that I have lying around the house, but this is what I have before I go to bed. And it's just a healing ointment. This is a product that honestly doesn't leave your lips feeling like you constantly need to apply, apply, apply like a chapstick does. Super moisturizing, I put this on at night, I still feel like my lips are hydrated in the morning. So don't forget about your lips when it comes to your skincare routine, super important, and I highly recommend Aquaphor. So as you can see, I have nothing on my face right now. This is what my skin looks like. <gasps> I hope this was helpful to some of you. I hope I provided enough information, but if you have any questions, always feel free to let me know below or send me a message. Please subscribe, it means a lot, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much, bye. Which, so this claims to have invis, so this, and I, anyway. So this provides broad spectrum protect, so that why is this such a tongue twister turn and zinc oxide, which, Sules, I...
I says I say soothes so weird zinc oxide which soothes forget how I say it.